Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the timer on your dryer. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the dryer. So either pull it forward enough that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuses. Once we've done that, we can start the repair. Now once we've disconnected the power, our next step will be to pull the timer knob off, simply grasp it and pull it right off. And then behind that you'll note that there are two quarter inch hex head screws. We can go ahead and remove those. Now next we'll want to pull that dryer forward enough that we can access that back panel. We're going to remove three more quarter inch screws across the bottom of the access panel. And there are three more screws across the top of the console. And just lift up on that access panel to line up the openings with the attachment pegs. And then we'll just set that panel aside. Now I have access to the timer. And what we'll need to do next is either make a notation of where each of the individual wires attaches to the timer, take a photograph of it, as long as we have a method to reattach them in the proper manner. Now another method you can use to remove these wires is to just take one off at a time. And then reattach it to the new timer right away. As you remove each of these wires, we want to check the terminal ends and make sure there's no signs of any arcing or corrosion. And if there is, you'll need to replace those terminals. You also need to make sure that they fit on nice and snug on the new timer. And we'll also need to transfer this large resistor from the original timer to the new one. So again, take note of the terminal locations. We can set the old timer aside. And just ensure that the bare leads on that resistor are not touching any other terminals. Now once we have all the wire connections in place, we'll then push that shaft through the opening and attach the two screws to the pre-drilled holes. Then make sure that we have the knob skirt attached to the knob itself. You note that there are three little locking tabs that correspond with three slots on the knob itself. Make sure we have those lined up. Snap that together so that it's one piece. Line up the D shaft with the knob and press it firmly in place. Now we'll go to the back of the dryer and we'll reinstall the access panel. Just make sure that we tuck the wires out of the way and again that that resistor lead is not touching any other terminals. Take that access cover, 
and the folded edge goes on the top. Line up the square openings with the fasteners, let it drop down into place, and the bottom screw hole should line up. And then the three screws across the top of the console. And now we're ready to push the dryer back into place. Now we're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.